In one of our previous videos, we talked about the early days and the rise of PayPal, the role of Elon Musk in it, and the sale of PayPal to eBay. PayPal was built from scratch by a handful of people. When PayPal was sold to eBay for $1.5 billion, this sale made many millionaires from the people who founded it. While many of these people would have preferred to continue to work at eBay watching after their PayPal baby, the way eBay treated PayPal's ex-employees was painful. The PayPal team was unprepared for such a dominance of bureaucracy, many talented employees left eBay. But it turned out this was not an ordinary bunch of people who would just stack the money, buy a few expensive cars and houses, and live calmly the rest of their lives. The group that founded and was in the executive positions at PayPal formed the so-called PayPal Mafia. This was a group of highly influential people who shaped the face of the internet and technology for the next 20 years. While most people know SpaceX founder Elon Musk's association with PayPal, PayPal Mafia also started or acted as angel investors to dozens of other startups. They used the money from the sale of PayPal to establish many successful and revolutionary companies like YouTube, LinkedIn, SpaceX, and Yelp. With that, many of these people turned their millions into billions of dollars. Who are the people who formed the so-called PayPal Mafia? Where are they right now? Without further ado, meet the so-called PayPal Mafia. Today, these 13 men, combined, are worth billions of dollars. So, let's take a closer look at each member of the PayPal Mafia and their achievements. Jod Kareem While at PayPal, Jod designed and implemented PayPal's incendiary real-time anti-fraud system, among other key components of the business. After PayPal, Kareem, Chad Hurley, designer of PayPal's first logo, and Steve Chen, another PayPal colleague and early Facebook employee, founded a video sharing site in 2005. They named it YouTube. Net worth of Jod Kareem is approximately $310 million as of 2023. Steve Chen estimated net worth $380 million. Chad Hurley's net worth is approximately $800 million. Reed Hoffman. Reed joined PayPal from the world's first failed social network SocialNet to become a member of the board of directors, then went full-time to become PayPal CEO. By the time of the 2002 eBay takeover, he was executive vice president. After PayPal, Reed co-founded the social network LinkedIn in December 2002. He also used his smarts quite successfully to engage in a lot of angel investing. He's made over 80 angel investments to dozens of businesses across industries, including consumer and transportation technology, finance, and artificial intelligence. His investment includes Facebook, Zynga, Airbnb, Flickr, Dig, and Last.fm. In 2010 Reed joined Greylock Partners, which has over $3.5 billion under management and focuses on early-stage companies in consumer and enterprise software. Reed's net worth at the moment is $3.9 billion. Jeremy Stoppelman Jeremy joined PayPal as an engineer from the X.com side, eventually becoming the vice president of engineering. Jeremy resigned soon after PayPal was picked up by eBay for $1.5 billion in 2003, taking a year to attend Harvard Business School. Whilst being poorly sick with flu and finding it tricky to find decent doctor recommendations, he and a former colleague Russell Simmons dreamed up the idea for the online reviews site Yelp in 2004. They convinced former PayPal chief technology officer Max Levchin to put up $1 million in initial funding. In 2010, Steve Jobs convinced Jeremy Stoppelman to reject Google's acquisition offer, and in 2012, Yelp became a public limited company. But it's not been a smooth recent few years. Yelp reviewers leaving negative reviews have faced legal action from affronted businesses, and the site faced accusations of handing positive reviews to advertisers. Jeremy Stoppelman's estimated net worth is in the range between $115 to $220 million. Russell Simmons Russell was PayPal's lead software architect. After PayPal, Russell co-founded Yelp with Jeremy Stoppelman and served as its chief technology officer until he transitioned into an advisory role in June 2010 to take some time to travel. Simmons launched Learnirvana 2012, a web tutor program that helps users learn languages. Russell Simmons' estimated net worth, unfortunately, is unknown. Peter Thiel Often referred to as the dawn of the PayPal Mafia, 
Peter Thiel is one of the original co-founders and CEO of PayPal. After earning $55 million from his 3.7% stake in the eBay deal, Thiel immediately founded hedge fund Clarium Capital, a global macro hedge fund. In 2003, he launched Palantir Technologies, a big data analysis company, serving as its chairman since its inception. In 2005, he launched Founders Fund with PayPal partners Ken Howery and Luke Nosek. Also, Thiel became Facebook's first outside investor when he acquired a 10.2% stake for $500,000 in August 2004. He sold the majority of his shares in Facebook for over $1 billion in 2012, but remains on the board of directors. He co-founded Vala Ventures in 2010 and, in 2012, co-founded Mithril Capital, serving as investment committee chair. Till's estimated net worth is $2.2 billion. Luke Nosek Luke Nosek was one of the co-founders and PayPal's vice president of marketing and strategy. He introduced the financial inducement idea with bonuses for signing and referrals which helped to greatly boost the company's popularity. After PayPal, Luke Nosek departed after the eBay takeover and traveled the world before founding San Francisco venture capital firm Founders Firm with Thiel and Howery in 2005. At that moment, Founders Firm had over $1 billion under its management. The fund was focused on investing in tech startups and other innovative companies. In 2017, Nosek stepped down from his role as a founding partner of Founders Fund to start a new investment company called Gigafund. Similarly to Founders Fund, Gigafund strongly believed in the power of technology to make the world a better place and was one of the first investors in SpaceX. Luke Nosek's estimated net worth is $1.5 billion. Ken Howery Ken Howery was a co-founder and chief financial officer between 1998 to 2002. After PayPal, Howery hung around as eBay's director of corporate development for just under a year after the takeover before rejoining Thiel as vice president of private equity at Clarium Capital in 2004. He then started Founders Fund less than 12 months later with Thiel and Nosek. In 2012, he co-founded PopExpert, an online learning platform that allows users to connect face-to-face -face with experts across a broad range of fields. Howery is a member of the Explorers Club a non-profit group that promotes scientific exploration. Howery also serves as an advisor to Kiva, a charity organization that enables people to lend money via the internet to low-income entrepreneurs and students in over 80 countries. On January 16, 2019, Howery was nominated by President Donald Trump to be Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of the United States of America to the Kingdom of Sweden. As ambassador, Howery was active across a number of policy areas. Howery engaged with Swedish officials on defense issues and military strategy, including pressing for increased interoperability of U.S. and Swedish military systems. Howery's estimated net worth is $1.5 billion. Keith Rabois Keith Rabois held the title of Executive Vice President, Business Development, Public Affairs, and Policy between November 2000 and November 2002. After PayPal, Rabois held senior positions at LinkedIn, Max Lepch and Slide, a company responsible for slideshows and animations in social networks, and electronic payment firm Square, founded by Twitter's Jack Dorsey. In March 2013, Rabois joined the venture capital firm Kozla Ventures. In 2019, Rabois was reunited with Thiel when he joined the venture capital firm Founders Fund as a general partner. In 2021, while at Founders Fund, Rabois co-founded Miami-based OpenStore, a retail holding startup that acquired brands in the Shopify ecosystem. The company is currently valued at $970 million. Keith's estimated net worth is $11.2 million. Max Levchin Max Levchin was a co-founder and the firm's chief technology officer, well regarded for his contributions to PayPal's anti-fraud efforts. At the time of PayPal's sale to eBay, Levchin had a 2.3% stake in the company. His shares were worth around $34 million. With this money, he founded the company Slide, a personal media sharing service for social networking sites such as MySpace and Facebook. Google picked it up for $182 million in August 2010, with Levchin becoming Google's vice president of engineering. A year and a day later, Google closed Slide, and Levchin departed. 
Between Slide's rise and fall, he helped start Yelp in 2004 and is the company's largest shareholder. He was also appointed to the board of directors of Evernote and co-founded financial services company Affirm. In recent years, he started a company called HVF, standing for Hard, Valuable, and Fun, a firm designed to fund projects looking to leverage data, and joined Yahoo's board of directors. He's definitely keeping himself busy. Lepchin's estimated net worth is over $3 billion. Andrew McCormick McCormick joined PayPal in 2001, working closely as an assistant to Peter Thiel as the company prepared for its initial public offering. After PayPal, McCormick helped set up another Thiel venture, hedge fund company Clarium Capital, before founding a restaurant group in San Francisco. Currently, McCormick is a partner at venture capital firm Vala Ventures. He found his way back to Thiel in 2008 to join Thiel Capital via corporate development roles at eCount and Yahoo. McCormick's estimated net worth is $7 to $11 million. Premal Shah Premal Shah spent six years at the company as a product manager. After PayPal, Shah became the president of the nonprofit organization Kiva, which allows people to lend money to struggling entrepreneurs and students in over 70 countries via the internet. Founded by former programmer Matt Flannery and his businesswoman ex-wife Jessica Jackley, the site was raising around $1 million every three days by November 2013. Shah's estimated net worth is approximately $2 million. David Sachs David Sachs joined PayPal from the management consultancy firm McKinsey & Company. Sachs joined PayPal in 1999 in the position of chief operating officer. He built many of the company's key teams and was responsible for product management and design, sales and marketing, business development, international, customer service, fraud operations, and human resources functions. Sachs boasts one of the mafia's more diverse post-PayPal curriculum vitae. After eBay assumed control, he left for Hollywood and produced and financed the Golden Globe-nominated 2005 movie Thank You for Smoking. The next year, he founded the genealogy website Jenny.com. Frustrations with interoffice communication led him to develop a productivity tool to help employees share information. This was to become the social network Yammer. Microsoft acquired the company for $1.2 billion in July 2012. At the same time, Sachs was named corporate vice president of Microsoft's office division. David Sachs has an estimated net worth of over $500 million. Relof Bota Bota served as PayPal's chef financial officer, leading the company through its IPO in early 2002 and later through its acquisition by eBay. A regular on the Forbes Midas list of top tech investors, Reloff joined venture capital giant Sequoia Capital in January 2003 as a partner, where he stayed ever since. At Sequoia, Boda oversaw the firm's investment in YouTube, Instagram, and Square, among others. He also helped to plan the acquisition of Sum by PayPal. His extracurricular business pursuits include sitting on the boards of 13 companies, including Eventbrite, Evernote, Tumblr, and Zoom. He was also on YouTube's board before Google acquired the company. Bota's net worth is estimated to be over $70 million. And lastly, the person not in the picture, but I am sure everyone expects is Elon Musk. PayPal had merged with Musk's financial services and email payment firm X.com in 1999, and Musk became the new company's largest shareholder by the time of its sale to eBay. He earned $165 million from the deal. After PayPal, Musk launched Space Exploration Technologies SpaceX, in June 2002. In May 2012, their Dragon spacecraft insured SpaceX became the first commercial vehicle to launch and dock a vehicle at the International Space Station. He assumed leadership of electric car firm Tesla Motors in 2008 and, in 2013, unveiled a proposal for a new form of transportation between the Greater Los Angeles Area and the Bay Area in San Francisco. His Hyperloop is a subsonic air travel machine completely reliant on solar energy. He is the founder, chairman, CEO, and chief technology officer of SpaceX. At Tesla, he acts as an angel investor, CEO, and product architect. Musk is also the founder of The Boring Company, co-founder of Neuralink and OpenAI, and president of the philanthropic Musk Foundation. 
In October 2022, Musk bought Twitter for $44 billion. On July 23, 2023, he renamed Twitter to X with the domain X.com, taking people to what used to be Twitter. He announced plans to transform the new X app into everything app, much like China's WeChat app. Elon's estimated net worth stands at 236 billion US dollars. So, this was the fascinating story of the group of people who stood at PayPal beginnings. The sale of PayPal to eBay served as a launchpad for this PayPal mafia to further use their brains and skills, coupled with the money and networking to launch tens of businesses and help fund hundreds of other innovative businesses either through funding companies or via angel investing. Clearly, this group of people that gathered around PayPal had a sense for the next big thing that they later carried through their careers, and that made many of them multi-millionaires or even billionaires. Hope you liked our video. We will continue to talk about the PayPal Mafia members and their businesses in more detail in our future videos. As for this video, we are done for today. Please rate our video, and if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe for our future inspirational videos about great companies and the people behind them.